Okay, we've let these things mix long enough. They've been mixing about four or five minutes. I'll help them out with the spatula a little bit. Make, make sure everything goes to the middle. So I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to unlock it. Take this out of here. And I want to show you something important I did here to make your cleanup a lot easier. I took a piece of aluminum foil and put it on the cookie sheet and then sprayed vegetable, an aerosol vegetable spray on there to make the cleanup easier. All you got to do when you're done is just wad it up, throw it in the trash, and you don't have a lot of scraping to do. So meatballs, you're kind of the master of your own destiny when you're making meatballs. Any size you want. I like them about mid-size like that. It's like a, maybe a, a two tablespoons of meat. Just like a, a good size pinch. And some people like to make them huge, like the Attack of the Killer Meatballs, you know, where uh, we had a guy in Connecticut when we used to work up there in, on the sub base, he'd come with what we call the Roach Coach, and his meatballs were like about that big around. They were, they were huge. They were like three inches in diameter, and we loved those too. So the thing to understand about these is the smaller they are, the less time they take to cook. Like little meatballs take around 30, 25, 30 minutes to cook. Uh, this size here, I'll, I'll keep those in the oven at 350. As you can see, I got the oven set at 350 right now, preheated. Um, I'll let these go about 40 minutes, and they'll be well done on the inside. And uh, some people like to uh, fry their meatballs, but I like to bake mine because it makes sure that the meat's done all the way through, and uh, you'll, you'll have no problems with rawness or anything in it, and uh, they're a lot safer to eat, uh, given all the bacteria problems we have with food nowadays it's best when you cook your hamburger all the way through so um, we'll come back after I get this tray here done and I'll show you some more